All right, so today we're going to be fixing a Dell Inspiron N5040 laptop. I don't do too many laptop repairs on this channel, but uh, I think it was about time to do one. Uh, this laptop has come to me from a buddy of mine that also does some repairs, and he has noticed an issue with this laptop that the display sometimes starts to cut out. Um, he has ordered a part for it, and I'll show you that in a second, but let's see if we can simulate the issue. Oh, yep, there it is. It just kind of went black there, it flickers, and um, the most common symptom, um, the common failure for this symptom is a bad ribbon cable, and from the LCD to the motherboard. And those can be acquired from eBay or any other place like that that sells laptop replacement repair parts. And that's all it is, is a ribbon cable. And what happens is, you got that ribbon cable, it's a flat cable, and when you open and close the laptop lid, you know, you know, a hundred times or, or more or whatever, um, the conductors inside the ribbon cable tend to uh, fracture or break and um, it causes intermittent issues like this. So we're gonna have to disassemble this laptop to get to the ribbon cable. So we're gonna have to take the whole base apart and possibly the uh, LCD panel. If there are no visible screws, we're gonna have to try and spudger this case open to get to that connector. So this ought to be interesting. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is uh, flip this over and pull all the screws out of the bottom to get to the uh, main board. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is remove the battery and that's by releasing these two spring-loaded tabs and pulling out the battery. And we're gonna be pulling out screws from here and all around the case. Wherever they are visible, pull them out. And then we'll have to um, flip this over and try and get the keyboard removed and remove some other components and screws. What I, what I like to do is when I remove the battery is to flip the laptop over and press the power button just to try and release any of the standby voltages that may be still present to, in some capacitors um, just to make sure that this thing is completely dead and not storing any charge. It shouldn't. There's not much it's going to hold, but I tend to do that. Sometimes you'll get a little flicker. Sometimes not, so okay, she's completely dead, so I feel confident that if I go in here, I'm not going to short something out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to remove all those screws on everything that I can see visibly, and we'll flip this over and see what we can do about getting the keyboard out. Alright, so up by the top keyboard corner, this is where on this particular laptop we're going to release the tabs to pull the keyboard up and this can be kind of tricky you got to kind of push this little button in here and catch that lip underneath and pull up now that's going to hold there what I like to do is so I can get my tool back is jam something under there so I can move along the other tabs and slide the other tool out so now we can move on to the other tab which is right here and hopefully we can get this to pop and these are just spudger tools I'm using and let's see if I can get something else under here And I think there are two more. There's one right here. Now it's starting to come up. Now I'm just gonna get my finger under here and move to the last one. And let's move this camera over here. And there are a couple little clips on the side. 
let's try and get down to the side. See if we can see them. They're very tiny. But just run the spudger tool down and you might feel them. They just need to be popped up like that. And now we can go to the other side. So now this whole top top left corner is just kind of floating here. So we're going to move to the other side and see if we can find those same tabs on this side. So now I'm going to grab this area here with my finger and it just fell a little bit, but it's still unclipped. So now we'll just try to release. There it is. And all I did was just pop. Where are we here? Right around the home key and page up button. There was a little clip. And now all your tools should fall out. And your keyboard should be somewhat free. But don't yank it out yet. I'm going to go to the other camera here so we can... Um, we're going to have to remove a ribbon cable and it does appear that we still have, have, have some clips on the bottom. Oh, okay. The bottom here, it looks like we have just a couple of slide, uh, retainers here. So you just pull it out and it just comes out of a little socket here on the bottom. And I will go to the other camera so we can see what's underneath this. Okay, I changed my mind. We're going to just stay with this camera and we're going to try and get this ribbon removed here. It just looks like it's just a standard ribbon cable on a clip type socket. Um, I believe this style here, you just got to pop up the edges and the ribbon cable will just release out. Yep. So pull that up. And now the whole keyboard just comes out. Got a little crap in here. Make sure we get that out of there. And now we'll have to go to the other camera and see what we can uh, see what we have to remove next. All right, so it appears that on this side there are two clips on each side that clip the bezel down to the other half of the bezel or the, the base piece. And once you pop those out, this will start to become loose. And then it looks like you just got to slide it out. And now that your cables are all disconnected, you should, before you pull up any further, check underneath and make sure there's nothing hanging on. And slowly pull it away. And that should reveal the motherboard and hard drive and CD or DVD-ROM. And uh, yeah, so now we looks like we got to see for the first time the ribbon cable for the display. It appears to be that cable here that runs over this fan assembly and up into the display. So it looks like we're going to have to take some more stuff apart here. Uh, it looks like we have some kind of power connector we're going to probably have to pull off from the LCD display. And uh, we're going to have to try and separate this display unit from the motherboard. It doesn't look like it's any more than maybe two screws on each side from the hinge. There's two there and two there. So once we pull those up and um, we might have to pop a few clips around the back to get this off. But once that comes off, uh, you, you should be able to separate this. But it also looks like we're going to have to disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas. So we got those two cables here. Any cable coming from the display unit, you're going to want to pull apart first before you try to separate it, or else you might end up damaging a cable or a connector on the motherboard. So as it stands right now, it looks like we have the display cable, power cable, and Wi-Fi antennas, and that looks like they're all there is going to this particular monitor on this laptop. So I have unclipped the uh, display connector here from the motherboard and it's got a little stickiness to this fan shroud uh, this connector just slides right out you just gotta wiggle it out and work it out uh, these two Wi-Fi antennas are probably for uh, 2.4 and 
whatever it is. And uh, it looks like, see, these are color coded. So you have the black wire goes to the black triangle, and the um, white one goes to the white triangle. And these just pop right off. They're not screwed in or anything. They just require a little bit of a, you know, maybe a pair of needle nose from the top and just pop them straight up. Do not try to, uh, you know, rock these off aggressively. Uh, just try to give them just a nice little firm pull up, and they should just come, come right up. Uh, so it looks like now we're just dealing with the four hinge screws. Oh, before I go on to that, uh, these wires were clipped in along here to the, um, they were routed along this plastic channel around here through this clip and uh, down to the board. So you're going to make sure you remove all that too or else your wires are still going to be hanging on to your uh, motherboard here. Um, so we're going to be removing these screws and it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver because these screws are small and they tend to just disappear when they fall inside and just these two on this side I've already loosened this one and if we're lucky this thing will just come right up Okay, in the battery compartment, there are three clips. You can probably see one right there. Uh, actually, maybe six. Uh, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Just put your screwdriver in there or work the metal, the plastic tabs out, and this should just separate from the monitor display. And it is now separated. So now we have two pieces. So now that we have the motherboard assembly um, apart, we can pretty much just put this aside so it doesn't get damaged and work on the display unit to try and find out how to get to that cable. Okay, so to get this bezel apart was pretty simple. All I had to do was start working uh, uh, right, right about here and getting my finger popping apart the seam and it was pretty easy for the most part of about 50% to just pop apart with your fingers um, and then it got a little difficult in a few spots and I ended up using this sponger tool it almost looks like a guitar pick you could probably use a guitar pick like a heavy guitar pick and just run it around the seam and you'll just hear it start popping and popping and popping and then finally it'll just come free and you should just be able to remove the bezel piece and now you're left with more stuff to take apart it looks like um, it looks like we need to get to it looks like this cable see this is the pinch point of this cable this is probably where it's failing is in this area this is where it sees all the flex inside this hinge and uh, it looks like we're gonna have to try and get the LCD up a bit to get the back side of here to um, unplug it from the LCD screen uh, and try and reroute this cable um, so let's see what we can do okay been looking at this for a bit and it looks like we just got to take these two screws out of each corner to remove the LCD uh, hinge um, from the back side of the bezel and there's one up here and one up here you got to be careful because there's other stuff like a camera module um, so we're gonna make sure that that's not gonna get snagged up or, or broken as well um, so yeah, so when you pull those screws out and then you stop pulling up the LCD, just make sure you don't have any other cables that are kind of snagging. You don't want to tear those or else you're just going to be uh, putting this aside till you buy new cables that you damaged. Alright, so I have the LCD out of the bezel assembly and the first thing you have to really do is to separate those two after you get the screws out is pull the cable out for the camera and a microphone I'm not sure if it's a microphone or camera but it just appears to be a camera so you want to undo that connector and then this will kind of just unfold and just be careful not to snag the wires so and now you get a good visual of the cable that we are, we are replacing and it looks like it has all the same cable the camera the display all the way down then it bundles up and comes through the hinge and back 
um, out towards probably, you know, well, not probably, it does go to the motherboard and plugs in there. So um, just try to keep it as uh, similar or, this, you know, the same routing as the original cable was. So take pictures and uh, try to bend it in the same arc that the original was in. And um, so we're going to try and get this up here. It looks like you, know, you want to compare your new part at this point. So you want to get your new part and just kind of lay it out and the new cable. And just make sure it's the same part. If it does appear, everything is the same. So, yep, it's just going to be a matter of sliding out this connector here. It looks like it's got some adhesive on this for a new connection retainer. So we're going to have to peel that up to get the old one out. And, um, yeah, that looks like that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so I have peeled this adhesive up and adhesive up the back of here. And this just slides, the connector just slides back and out. Just be careful not to bend or crack this very thin circuit board while you're peeling it up. Make sure you're holding everything down. This was very, very um, sticky stuff. So, uh, And then you're just going to pull the tape off, pull the adhesive off of this cable. And then there's another spot right here where it connects to this point. And just peel that up. And now your whole ribbon assembly is removed. So you can take that and reinstall your new one. In the same order that you pulled it apart, route the cable back around and put it back together. So I'm gonna put this in and see uh, see how everything fits. Okay, so I've flipped it back over and I've reconnected up that ribbon cable to the camera. I have routed the display cable back through the proper channels, and I have rerouted the um, antennas through the proper channels as well so now it's just a matter of putting this back together in the reverse um, order that we took it apart in so um, I'm just gonna have to do that so I got the screen back in place got it all bolted down got the, the Wi-Fi wiring all hooked back up I have actually this power wire was not for the screen it was for the DC jack adapter in the back I do believe because it did not come from the screen um, we also have the new display cable coming in and plugging onto the motherboard. So now all I have to do is just put the top bezel back on and the memory back in, screw everything back down, and we'll give this a smoke test. Okay, so I got it powered up, and, um, we're good. Everything is, it's not flashing anymore or doing any odd, odd things. The mouse works, keyboard works, everything's working good, so I think we're done here. Um, that was pretty, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I think the hardest part was just routing the the uh, the new display cable and then in through the hinge area. I think that was the only, uh, really, not even complicated, but I think it was just the more involved part of it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this uh, Dell Inspiron N. 5040 display cable repair. Have a good night.